Electric cars are becoming increasingly popular with drivers who want to be early adopters of the latest innovations while also eliminating gasoline consumption from their lives. Of the many questions prospective buyers have, wondering how long it takes to charge one is a top concern. With a variety of charging formats, vehicle battery sizes, and evolving technologies, we understand that it can become a somewhat complicated topic. At Kelly Blue Book, our goal is to make it easier for you, the consumer, to understand. So, what are the main points to know about charging? Like the gas tank in a traditional vehicle, not all EV batteries are the same size. The battery that provides the energy for the propulsion of your vehicle provides the energy for all electronics inside the car, unlike a gas or hybrid vehicle. As a result, all EV batteries are going to be larger than the auxiliary ones found in your internal combustion engine vehicle. Size of the vehicle does not always directly correlate with the size of the battery. If an automaker is so inclined, they can develop a super aerodynamic vehicle that depends on a smaller battery to go the same distance as a smaller, less aerodynamic car with a battery of similar size. Because EV batteries weigh so much, the weight of the vehicle is more of a factor in determining how efficient it is, which explains why most new EVs are designed with very slippery shapes, what some might call egg-like. Not all types of vehicles can be that aerodynamic by nature. Take the Hummer EV truck. It is a behemoth, weighing nearly 10,000 pounds, but it can go as far as 381 miles on a charge. Because of that lofty range goal, the battery had to be massive in size in order to make up for the fact that a truck this big is not very aerodynamic. As a result, it is one of the least efficient EVs you can buy today. When it comes to charging times, the technology on board the vehicle must also be considered. New electric car platforms either run on a 400 volt or an 800 or 900 volt electrical architecture. Vehicles with the latter are going to be able to charge much faster than those with the former. Right now, the only vehicles that use the more powerful architecture come from Porsche, Audi, Hyundai, Kia, Genesis, GMC, and Lucid. That enables them to have higher peak charging rates, which are measured in the standard form of electrical energy, kilowatts. For example, the Hyundai Ioniq 6 can peak at 350 kilowatts when charging at the appropriate charging station. This enables it to charge its battery from 10% to 80% in only 18 minutes. A Ford Mustang Mach-E on the 400 volt architecture can only do the same charge in as little as 38 minutes even though it has a very similar battery size. Now why do we only quote the time from 10% charge to 80%? That's because those first 10 and last 20 percentages require more energy to push the current into the battery than the rest of the charge does. Constantly charging within these ranges will compromise the battery's performance over time. Think of your smartphone. Ever notice that after about a year of ownership, it starts to lose battery power or charge slower, etc, etc. An electric vehicle battery is pretty similar, just on a much larger scale. As a result, it is best practice to avoid draining your EV's battery completely or even charging it all the way to 100%. The car companies know this about batteries and have even programmed the charging rates of their vehicles to deliberately slow down when in these ranges. The Ionic 6 I mentioned earlier, charging it all the way from 0 to 100% will likely take over 45 minutes. There are three levels of EV charging on the infrastructure side. Level 1, Level 2, and DC fast charging. Levels 1 and 2 can be achieved via household outlets, while DC fast charging is restricted to public charging stations. This is because these stations can convert the AC current to the DC current directly within the charger instead of using the car's onboard AC to DC inverter. That larger draw of power is much more than is legally allowed from your home, which is why it is restricted to public stations. All new EVs can charge at DC fast charging stations, but depending on the architecture and other factors, they can peak as low as 50 kilowatts in charging power. If you simply plug your EV into a 120 volt household outlet to charge, it can take well over 24 hours to fill up. Install an OEM or third party level 2 unit and those times will drop significantly. Those units can cost upwards of $2,000, but should also make a positive impact on the value of your home. It will cost you more money per minute to DC fast charge that car, but level 2 options in public will be much more common. For more information on EV charging times and all of the juicy details you need to know before jumping the fossil fuel ship, Kelly Blue Book's got you covered.